Hi, I'm Southern Shadi, and we have another amazing new update today with Blender 3.4. So as usual, let's dive in and look at all the features in less than five minutes. Let's get started. There's an amazing new Story Pencil add-on. It makes it easy to create new scenes, edit them in your timeline, rearrange, and make changes. I don't know where you could possibly find a better storyboarding option, and I hope we see future support for this add-on. Grease Pencil Fill Tool has been improved, and now there are more options for gap closures accessible in the side panel. There's a new outline modifier to generate perimeter strokes based on the camera view. The line art modifier now has a forced intersection option to override the no intersection command when needed, and the time offset modifier now has a chain mode. Sculpting has a cool auto masking popover feature now to manage all your auto masking options. It makes it easier to use and a bit more accessible. In particular, there is a cool mask from the cavity operator. Really cool to see these types of micro features added that can really take sculpting to the next level. Most people will be excited to hear Geometry Nodes has a new evaluation system. This can provide better performance for complex node setups. The new viewer node is amazing for quickly viewing what you're working on and is activated by clicking on it. Geometry nodes are oftentimes a trial and error process, so tools like this are incredible for quality of life. There's also a new distribution of points and volume nodes to create points inside of volume grids. We have a new self object node to retrieve modifiers for the current object, a sample index, nearest, and a nearest surface node to retrieve additional data for use. For mesh, we have the face set boundaries, which find the edges between groups of faces. Then we have additional access to mesh topology information with these new nodes. Likewise, we've gotten additional topology information nodes and curves department as well. Intel's Open Path Guiding Library has been added to cycles. This improves the sampling quality of paths being traced, which helps reduce the noise in your renders. Specifically, you will see an improvement in complex lighting scenes such as indirect bounces, caustics, and more. The less noise in your scenes, the less samples you need, and thus you should see a decrease in render times. AMD HIP, Apple Metal and Intel Open API have all seen minor improvements and support updates. NLA tracks have had minor improvements, including automatically naming tracks after their actions when being pushed down, drawing tracks based on their extrapolation type, and adding a redo panel. The subdivision modifier has seen more performance improvements, specifically when loose edges are being subdivided. And the UV sculpt tools have also seen large improvements. The new geometry based Relax Brush improves the quality of UV mapping by making the UVs follow the geometry more closely. It can be accessed under the brush settings. UV packing has seen minor improvements, including working with non-manifold geometry, and you can now align UVs to rotation, randomize islands, and use non-uniform grids. You can now mute drivers in the Drive Properties panel. Lots of improvements have been made to the core of Blender, and these little details can be read in the feature link below, but the highlights are that WebP images are quicker to preview thumbnails, metaballs are now evaluated as meshes, font loading has been improved, as have the font thumbnails, View layer sync operations have been greatly improved for scripts that create a lot of objects in a single operation, leading to performance boosts. The OBJ importer now has a global scaling factor option. The GLTF importer and exporter, also known as the GLTF importer and exporter, has seen a lot of improvements overall. As usual, Python has seen a lot of changes, but I'm too stupid to understand. So check out the link in the description below if you'd like to learn more. And of course, there are hundreds of bug fixes, minor features, and improvements elsewhere within the software which of course you can see any of those at the link in the description below. But if you like what you see, go support Blender by joining the development fund.